Hola, buenos días, soy Nico. So today, just to let you know, this is like my fifth time recording this video. I am very stressed about it at this point, just for the sole fact that it's not sticking with me. Like, you know, you make something and then you just keep looking at it and you're like, I don't like it. So final attempt. <laughs> today, we're going to be having a very short, cute and simple video because this topic isn't something I can really expand upon. It's just another update and a confirmation of information. So, before we get started, if you like this kind of content, make sure you follow me at patreon.com slash Nico's Aesthetics for more exclusive lives, weekly videos, and to be a part of the recording. Nico, you said recording, not podcast, because somebody commented last video, Nico, either this podcast gonna come or go. Choose. And I'm still deciding, so I'm, I'm just, we're recording episodes, good dialogue, but... I'm tired of the editing, so if I do continue going forward, I'm going to have to give a PSA of, I will not be editing the clips. You will have to be comfortable with what you say in the recording, just going forward. But yes, let's get started. So today, we have more information on Prison Bay, AKA ATL Tay. Nico, what do you mean? So, from prison, after knocking a woman 30 feet off of an overpass and she miraculously survived, and he was arrested again because he was recklessly driving in areas he was prohibited from visiting because of his ankle monitor, he was sent to prison. And once in prison, as we discussed in last week's episode, somebody smuggled him a phone. And from prison, he is making his OnlyFans content. Nico, I had to give you like, like a little time machine recap because he has had a lot of things going on in the past few years, but that is where he's at. And from prison, he is currently going on Big O. Nico, what is Big O? Think Zoom in Atlanta had a Hennessy filled night and made a baby. That is Big O from whatever I can tell. Just because all you see coming from Big O, womp, 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 and then a fight video leaks. So it's what it is. He is going back and forth on Big O with Milan Christopher. Nico, who is Milan Christopher? There's no real way to answer that. Nathan, listen, he was on, he was on Bad Boys LA. I think I saw him get his ass beat on there. Um, he was on Love and Hip Hop, question mark. He's a rapper, a model, something. And that's, that's not even shit. I really don't know what he does. Like, I know he has a I know he does only fans. And I know he hangs out with C-list celebrities. He's like in that socialite stratosphere where they're not really celebrities, but you've seen them on TV. So it's just like, oh, I know you, that kind of thing. But I think that's all he did. Point is, he's beefing with a 22-year-old, ATL Tay, who is currently behind bars. Yeah. Beating the shit out of Milan when they get... When, Milan is getting his ass beat, bitch. You gonna get your ass beat. Oh, Milan. Milan. This boy ain't Milan. He was gonna love hip-hop. He's, he's, he's the old man. He's old, old dirty, and dusty. Bitch, I'm going to beat your ass when I get the fuck up out of here. So, bitch, you better, you better, you better have your fucking gun tucked, bitch. Tell that, tell that bitch, tell that old crusty, nasty, busty, nutty buddy bitch that. Tell that bitch that shit. When I, when I, when I, when I see him, I'm gonna bust him in this shit with a brick. Oh, not the brick. I'm gonna bust him in this shit with a brick. What's on your lip? Milan Christopher is 38. Their history goes back to a video I did a while ago. Nico, this was like a good year or two ago. Basically, ATL Tay was running her mouth and lying, saying that Milan Christopher asked her to pull up and smash, that Milan Christopher was being passed around, that Milan Christopher, yeah, 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 keeping his name in his mouth. So Milan Christopher and his homeboy pulled up to ATL Tay's home. And once they got to his home, he knocked on the door and started recording and said, bitch, you gonna tell them people that you lied on me. And he said, I only said those things because you said X, Y, and Z. Basically, Tay was chicken when two niggas pulled up to his house to fight him. 
So that ended with Milan Christopher walking off like he was bad. That was their left off point, but now they're arguing again on Big O. Nico, for what reason? Does it look like I know? Like, that's the thing is like, not only have I tried to record this video multiple times, I'm just tired of both of them. They both tire. And the reason, <laughs> the reason I say that is because Milan Christopher, you are like 38 years old. Girl, what was that? Girl, how long are you gonna be doing this? You 38 years old. Brooke. 38 years old. How long are you gonna be doing this? Brooke. Listen. You 38 years old going back and forth with a 22 year old on Big O. You are an established brand. Even though I can't necessarily say what your particular brand is, but that's just me being real, cause I speak real. Cause you are established in the industry. There is no reason that you should be given an ATLT the time of day, if I'm being quite honest. But I also understand that controversy and yelling at people online gets more attention than just being productive in a field. But at this point, you are too big of a name to be beefing with a 22 year old who is in prison. This, this entire story is just getting silly and they're both looking tired just because I don't understand how you can go back and forth with the same person even when one of them cannot even link up to fight to settle the situation. But that's just me. Definitely drop your opinions down below. Also, thank you for the girlies that confirmed that he was in prison for 15 possible years. I really appreciate that research and legwork you did for me. <laughs> but definitely drop your opinions down below. How do you feel about ATL Tay being recorded saying he was going to violently attack somebody while he is behind bars? And how do you feel about Milan Christopher, who is an established brand and is 38, arguing with a 22 year old who is in prison? But before you answer that, because I know whenever I talk about Milan Christopher's age, people like to say ageism. Ageism is discriminating against you for your age. Let's say you are passed up on job opportunities. You are not invited to certain events. You are excluded from a social group because of your age. That is ageism. Somebody saying that with age, you need growth and maturity, that with age, you have more emotional control. That's not ageism. And I just wanted to personally say that because me at 26 is not the same bitch that me at 21 was. I grew because I had time to grow. With age, you get more mature. You get more cool you like you you just get a better understanding of yourself and how you should react to situations so milan christopher at 38 screaming on big o with people who are in prison it doesn't make sense to me it, it just does not but yes definitely drop your opinions down below because i'm tired of the situation but yeah and once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I'll see you guys there.